So uh, next uh, speaker will be uh, John <laughs> from ARIT. <laughs> so quite a remarkable young man. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, I call him young man. So he has already published two comics, huh? two comics already, right? Uh, ah, yeah. <coughs> and good. counting. And counting, yes. <laughs> and now you can hear this comic in a popular one of the titles. Uh, the first title still have, right? Close to Black still have. Ah, uh, closer to Black, yeah. Closer, closer to Black still have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. popular also. Okay. And then the recent one is The Legend of Monkey King, the epic fail, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. That's why uh, he mo the most recent uh, debut of his uh, designer toy is based on his. Uh, Comic characters are uh, Mommy Thunder. Mm -hmm. So today, probably he's going to share with you a bit about his Mommy Thunder character, right? Yeah. So the title is called Making Up Toys. Okay, and please put a hand. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I go by the pen name Mommy Thunder. Uh, my real name is quite long, Jonathan Evans still, but I'm really excited to go to call me John. You can call me whatever you want, call me Mommy Thunder. Some people call it Apple, so. Uh, so, uh, maybe talk about, a little bit about myself. Uh, why, why I like toys is actually it started from Michael Lau and, and because just now what uh, Blank pointed out, I also like refresh back my own memory. I like uh, Amanet and Michael Lau, so I listen to the song and I like their arts and everything. So I go collect some of the toys. But then now I, I super regret because I sold it uh, to my younger. Now I want to get back to story life. So, and what gets me, inspired me for my design for this one is actually when I, I see the uh, soft movie came out, it suddenly become uh, like a new genre for soft movie. And this is a genre that I really, really love. So, my design is actually quite inspired from soft movie. Lah. So, that's the reason why also I want it to be made in soft wine, lah, which is soft movie. Lah. Uh, but then, uh, how, how I get started, uh, actually, uh, at first I was like, uh, I wanted to make it more affordable to myself because I'm not rich or what, I'm just a designer. So, uh, I was thinking maybe to make it racy or something, but then, no matter how I start this thing, it's because I also love soft movie. So I was trying my way to find how I can make it into soft movie. I got asked around and everything, in the end I was like, uh, maybe I will search it online. So I go back through online and uh, find a lot of manufacturer and everything. But then uh, the question also always come back is like, uh, what is your? Uh, I need to see your design. I only can give you a quotation. So the thing is, I need to know uh, what is what is my price. What, what am I facing? So I only know how to approach this this road. So okay, fine. So I will start with a design first. Then I will show them. Uh, then only from there I will get the quotation. So one or two I was like actually quite feel like uh, I'm not gonna achieve anything because most of the manufacturer they were asking like uh, two thousand and more than that. Uh, they wouldn't do like one hundred fifty or one fifty. They wouldn't take this offer. So uh, luckily la, I, I just not like, keep finding, keep finding until I find one and say okay I will do one hundred for you. But then, uh, no matter what, I know the fact that uh, finding things online is like stranger danger, I know this. <laughs> so, uh, I also like ask a lot of questions like, uh, what is your company name, uh, where is it located? And then I got asked a few quite famous uh, quite artists from Kutoi, I said so, uh, Michael, uh, Sean Dem, uh, Sean Lee, uh, and then a few more artists. Uh, they also, I asked their op opinion of what they think about this price. What well, I think about this company, you have heard before. They also they have heard before, and then they also think it's a very good deal. <laughs> so I should go with it like that. It's like it's a, it's a good deal. La. But then it's still like they also say stranger ninja, and you be careful. La. So I did my research, I asked them a lot of questions, I make sure to find on map to make sure their companies that really exist, and then see who their clientele, maybe uh, ask their clientele that uh, is it. Is it legit that you guys are okay with them? You know? So everything that I only like, okay, then I can go with it. Like the, the, they will agree to do 100 with me. Like. So yeah, I'm going to show like my sketch text and the progress. Like. I break it down into four chapters. So these are the first sketch I showed them. Like. Uh, 
I didn't even like come up with a very clean swatch. I just like using my as a color and everything. So uh, what I need is the front back uh, side view and then uh, perspective view like that. And then these are the questions that came back. They asked me like, uh, in order to stand properly, I need to like fix my design because if it's like leaning forward, it will fall down. So these are the changes that I sent back to them. That I need to project like that, so it's more easy to stand. Uh, these are the questions that ask me about, like, do I want it matte or do I want it glossy? And then, uh, yeah, these are the, the tricky part. Later I'll bring it back because this uh, caused me some issue. Uh. But I've been keep uh, telling them, like, uh, how my mask works. Like, my mask is not like the face will change, my mask is on top on the, on the toy. So I keep repeating this, uh, make sure that I, that I understand this part. Uh, these are the other thing like uh, how the pandemic that I want. So these are the first stage, uh, right? The first stage that I was And then uh, these are the uh, considered clean sketch that I sent back to them. That, that I sent to them uh, to see them. Here are the few example that I I want it to be sculpted in this style, but I, I'm not sure whether they can do it or not. Okay, so these are the first stage that I sent that that I deal with them. Okay, here are the three D that I start to get back to you from my sketch. Uh, what is it like, like a before and after? On the left hand side is actually what they sent me. On the after is actually I use Photoshop uh, using uh, Photoshop to uh, edit it with their three D. So to let them know what are the things that I want to change. Like example, the mouth. As you can see, the mouth. Uh, and then the fingernails, you see one is like longer, one is shorter. And then here are some of the notes that I write it down for them also. Uh, like I got the eye, I want it to be long off. I give like a pause example for them to see the mark, how, how is it should look. It's not like shouldn't be flat or something. So there's a lot more. Now. And then the mind, uh, the after is after I edit also. Here are the notes. So there's quite quite a lot of quite a lot of things that I go through for the first stage also. But here again I try to explain the mask again. Just to make sure that they don't get it wrong, okay? So this is like the hair shooting quite fast, it's only take a week. Like yeah, like a week and uh, more than a week like that. Then they get back to me with the three theory. So this is the next time that, that they came back after I sent the, the revised thing. So there's a more, lot more problem. <laughs> it's actually funny that I, I already like specific them like I want it to be like this, like this, but then I come back it's like it's only fixed a little bit like 10% or something like So I so most of the thing, the my notes here, right? It's like repeat repeat only. It's just repeat what I say. But maybe I find other kind of sample for them to, to get it right. So again, here are some notes that I give it to them. So to make it more easy to understand. Again the, the mask. <laughs> I remind them again. So how many times that you have to remind them about the mask? I think based on what I see here, like I think more than three to five times already. Okay, so here yeah, this uh, another consider consider the last revised one is like I think I was <laughs> not sure. <laughs> okay, so here yeah, is a sample again. Huh? Okay, yeah, these are the final. So I think it took three times. So for the manufacturing part, they tell me is uh, you, you can revise up to three times. On the fourth times, you need to add money. Now. But luckily, actually the last time the, they came back, I, I really like, if it's not nice, I'm not going to do it really. But it's fine, I'm going to pay 3D, everything, it's fine, I'm going to pay it. You know. But if not, I'm not, not going to do it. So these are the, the last time they came back. Now. So 
so luckily I, I passed the next part already. So I was like, oh good, you can go already. Okay, so this one is the K map with the prototype. So I printed out the prototype and then clean it up. So to let me see in actual, is it, is, is it okay? For me, it's okay because it's nothing much different from the the, the sketcher that let me see. Here is the problem. Okay, this is how I find out the mask is the misunderstanding. <laughs> so here are the color that let me choose. So I also send to them the pattern code, what, what kind of color they want, that are that I want. So it needs to be specific with the color. They need the code. But then after I send it to them, they came back is like, uh, no, I want it's not uh, just pantone. I want international pantone code. I was like, what the hell is international pantone? <laughs> <laughs> Some friend even like laugh at me. It's like, I thought you were a designer. How, how can you even know what is pantone? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, actually, what is international pantone code? <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the first color. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If this is the first time you yeah. color for me. What the hell is this shit? It's about international Yeah, I was like, why the color is so off? And then the eyes are so dirty. And then why is like the, so the, the, the everything is wrong. So it's so wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, they even send me the video. So the mask is actually, at first it's using magnet I mean I quite like his magnet But then it turned out it's like, I need to add more money But then it's like, I, I thought I really reminded you like 4 times or something How can you like misunderstand the game? It's like, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry It's like, I keep that goal It's like, what, what can you do for me? Can you make it into resin? Can you make it into other kind of material that is cheaper but then they say uh, the problem is not about material the problem is when it comes to making this kind of mask they need to use injection yes, more. injection yes, more. more injection parts or something so, injection, yes. yeah, so the expensive part is actually the injection casting things the so it's different mm, so no matter how it cannot lower down the price. No matter what, when you come to making uh, something that is flat like this, it costs this money. Okay, here are the. From what, what, what I showed you just now, I take it and then I put it in Photoshop, I revise it to, to show them what I need to change in paper. So, on the right hand side, it's actually that I, I got. I hand painted the, the mark and then I got Photoshop it, everything. Even the color also I changed it. <laughs> so again, la, <laughs> again la, like, like how I asked them to revise la. And then the mask, actually they, at this point they already know uh, we cannot do the mask already But then they, already, they say, uh, since I already agree the uh, mask with prototype, so prototype I can do the mask for you also. So no matter, I still you know, need to change the mask, so like, some of the arrows uh, These are the final And here is a few examples that I did in Photoshop also. I see whether they can do it for me or not. It's like, as you can see, on the mark area, there's some gradient. On sample B and sample B, about got like constant kind of airbrush like that. And then sample A is the eye that I fix it again. Because the eye on the original one is actually, there's a, the gap, there's a gap there. So it should be smaller. And then sample B and sample C is I want to make it gradient. But then when it comes to gradient, gradient costs money. <laughs> then uh, on, for the sample here, they, they say they can do it for me. Like, since uh, it's not a final yet, so it's just a prototype, but then it still, it still can fix it when it comes to production. Okay, here is the can you say the final chapter. Like? <laughs> um, here, <laughs> here, here I, I just want to talk a little bit about. Uh, other things like packaging and the production things like. 
So here are the packaging. So uh, just normal, I, I need to come up with the design and send to them. They will print it. I will go with the you know like soft liners or movie kind. The usual with the head part and the plastic bag. I just like the the that this kind of packaging better. Some of the the, the rosa one, I can say, I just, I uh, forgive me lah. Mm-hmm. 
but then I try to fix it also. Uh, that, as you can see, some of it I use epoxy to fix it also. Uh, so, as you can tell, it's, it's very, it's, it's a lot of work. It's very high consuming. But it's good, uh, it's a good experience. Mm -hmm. Dia bukan di cakap lain dia nak macam ni tak boleh buat. Memang dia ada lecet dia pak kat sana. Kalau kalau itu kena nak more and casting. So here is like I think in the end it only takes like uh, three, four, four to five months. It only takes four to five months. Uh, I'm not sure I'm still affected how much, but then I ask them and say, oh, uh, does that affect us? So your 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 thing is 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 going on on normal lah. So I got my toy was like I think few few months ago lah. So these are the hundred pieces that I got. <laughs> and here I painted one lah uh, with the mask. So I only painted six. It's for special for this exhibition. This is a final product in packaging. Yeah, uh, that's about it, lah. But um, uh, actually, why I'm sharing all these details is also before I start this thing, I try to search around in on the internet or asking a uh, few people because there's not many of artists here. Uh, I mean, uh, toy designing here, and then uh, online also you couldn't find a lot of. Tips and the in depth of, of how you start this. So, I was like hoping that I can share all these details to encourage more, more lockers and also new designers from all around the world that you know take this interest to have fun. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, that's, a, that's it. Huh? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.